Do you like toys? Big Bad Toy Store has toys. If you click the link in the description below and give them money, you too can have toys. Now watch my video. Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. Today I'll be reviewing the Storm Collectible Scorpion. So yes, here we have Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. I had been waiting for someone to make some good Mortal Kombat figures for a really long time, and around last year, I think, Storm came along and decided to start doing just that, and these are really cool Mortal Kombat figures. I do have all of the normal release ninjas that they've done so far, so that's what I'm going to be reviewing this week, starting with Scorpion, because he's my favorite one. Alright, starting off with a quick size comparison, of course, here we have Scorpion. Here's our standard Marvel Legends 6-inch Cosmic Armor Iron Man and 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine. Now, while these figures are marketed as 112 scale, they are much bigger than anything else I see with that kind of marketing. They're about a head taller than a Marvel Legends figure, which are already pretty big for that kind of scale, and of course, much bigger than a 3 and 3 quarter inch figure. Now, let's get everything else out of here and just look at Scorpion. Alright, moving on to our 360 spin. The bulk of the outfit is a black gi. There's not a lot of detail to it in terms of paint, but the sculpting is nice and it all looks very cloth-like. You get bare arms with some black bracers and little bands around the biceps. And then the padded armor over the chest and the shin and knee pads are yellow. The chest part is rubber so it doesn't inhibit articulation. And the shin and knee pads look kind of metally and they've got rivets and stuff on them. Overall, I think it is a very nice sculpt and very accurate to the way it should look. Head sculpt wise, you get the black cowl, which is a rubber piece over the top of the actual head. The facial features on the head you can't see very much of, but they're sculpted relatively well. You get some eyebrows and some white eyes, and then you get your mask. You have a flat cloth kind of mask from Mortal Kombat 1, and then the cooler, more sculpted mask from Mortal Kombat 2. And also, if you remove their mask, you do get horrifying Dementor mouths. And then Scorpion has an alternate skull head, which may have gone a bit overboard on the weathering for my taste, but it does look like a skull, and it does have an articulated jaw for some skull-biting action. Articulation-wise, you get pretty standard Storm Collectibles articulation. Double ball peg in the head, so you get really nice head and neck movement. Butterfly joint in the shoulders. Shoulders move up and down, in and out. Bicep cut. Double joint elbows. Wrist hinge and rotation. You get ball pegs and the chest and waist, so you get nice body movement there. Hips move in and out, forward and back, rotate around on the joint, double jointed knees, hinge, pivoting in the ankles, and a toe joint. So you should be able to get him into lots of nice ninja-y poses. Accessories-wise, you get a reasonable amount of stuff. You get four sets of hands and one solo hand. You get two fist hands, two flat palm hands, Two open relaxed hands, two more grippy hands, and then one proper holding hand. I don't know why you only get one holding hand, that's kind of annoying. But otherwise, all the hands look really nice. They have sort of slight silver brushing on the back of them to make them look like metal plates that were painted black. And the hand detail is all hand-like. And then Scorpion has his spears, as the game calls them. They're like kunais with ropes attached to them, basically. And you get two different versions of them. You get the normal extended one and one that's kind of coiled up. They do have blood on the heads of them, whether you get the bloody variant or not. I do think these would have benefited from having some bendy wire in them, but otherwise they are pretty cool. And then you get his fireball accessory. It can be combined into one piece to have him shooting the fire at the ground, or you can kind of shove it into his skull mouth and just have him breathing it in various directions if you can get him to balance properly. It's a really nice transparent yellow plastic with some red painted on it. It looks really nice, very fiery. Packaging-wise, you get a pretty standard windowed box. Age 17 Plus, Storm Collectibles 112 Action Series, Big Window, Mortal Kombat logo down there at the bottom, Scorpion. And on the back, you get some poses for the figure, pictures of their accessories, and a little description. As is generally the case, these are good for in or out of package display. And that about wraps it up for Scorpion. So until next time, goodbye!